Yeah, I guess it's been pretty nice. Um, probably just a bit, of, bit of consistency with my footy has sort of set me up. So yeah, it's pretty nice to play every week and probably play my role, and that's yeah, that's all it is really. Bobby was talking about the team's had a lot of mindset this year. Is that I don't know, has that been the, the thing that sort of helped you the most? And yeah, definitely. I think um, especially coming into the year, uh, uh, I guess the belief and the confidence was a big thing. Um, and even the first couple of games were still sort of battling for a spot. Um, the first game of the year and then uh, we came back after the break so yeah to sort of have the confidence from the coaching staff um, and then you earn uh, the trust and that from your teammates playing every week so yeah, it's been a big part of um, you know, me playing my role and performing was pretty well. Was it Muzz? Was it someone or a line or something that someone said to you? That... Um, yeah I guess it probably Murray Davis our backline coach you um, spent a bit of time with him um, talking to him in the early stages when we were coming back um, just to sort of see where I fit in because there was a fair bit of competition for spots um, in that half back spot and um, yeah it was sort of I didn't really know where, where I sat to be honest and then um, he sort of said look I'll, I was tossing up like do I play on the wing to sort of try and get a get is that might be my best spot in the team or try to get a spot and he's like no nah, we like, we like you half back so keep pulling along there and got a game and then yeah sort of that's what's happened the whole year. Yeah. How do you think you're confident? You can see it almost every game that you're getting more and more confident. You're able to take the game on a bit more now than you probably were a few weeks ago. Like, why, why do you think that's developed as the season's gone on? Um, well, I think it's, um, I guess, a bit of experience, I think. Because um, I'll, I'll probably back in um, myself in uh, like with my pace and my power. Um, probably didn't really do that much at the start of the year. I was sort of more focused on defending and then but realising that I can bring that to the table as well when we got the ball and go the other way. It's been yeah pretty good pretty big. Would you rather play? The long or long oh geez, I don't know. Um, either of them they're both looking pretty good so um, yeah happy with either of them. Doesn't bother us. Very football family. How many phone calls do you get from the, the various members of the family about advice and what you should be doing and all that sort of stuff. Leave, uh, leave me alone. Um, just to wish me good luck and all the best and that sort of thing. Don't get too much advice. But um, oh, Grandpa usually just puts his head in and gives me a bit of advice. Just another game, mate, so that sort of thing. But um, he's obviously seen a fair bit with Craig and, and my dad, Troy. So, um, yeah, no, they keep it pretty, pretty chill. It's, um, do, do, do you seek out advice from the family often? Do you yourself? Do you say, um, leave you alone, but do you go to them? Uh, well, sometimes. Um, yeah, it's good to have those sort of people um, pretty close to me that I can lean on when I need to, but um, yeah, it's more just to sort of not really asking sort of advice on my game or anything, just, you know, just checking in and see how they're going and that sort of stuff, yeah, nothing serious. You've asked everyone who's rolled through, mate, about Friday night and, you know, just feet touch the ground yet, but how important is it to actually go, we've still got... Yeah, um, obviously it's um, <laughs> good to celebrate the win and, and uh, be proud of uh, what we achieved, but we know there's still a job to do, so um, yeah, this week we'll be uh, moving on pretty quick and getting ready for a couple of weeks' time, yeah. Can you tell us about that unity of your back line, like the second quarter, sort of when the game was won or ultimately, like you were under so much pressure, but that back line held up, can you tell us about how tight you are and you think how that's developed? Yeah, I think one thing we've been good at all year is just scrapping hard and, and um, being really hard to play against when that ball gets in there. So um, we sort of built our game off that and uh, we back everyone in to win their one-on-ones or at least half them. So, um, yeah, it's just been a big part of our, us. Our identity, I guess, as a backline group is um, really scrapping hard and um, sort of our focus every week is to be good at that. Can you reach me important to you? Obviously, someone from the same state who's a little bit, yeah, sort of working on that offensive game. I usually sit down and, and watch his tape uh, to sort of pick apart how he um, gets involved in the offense and, and what he does. So um, in that part of it, yeah, he's been pretty big, yeah. And what, what do you try to take from, from that? Is it your, your, your offensive mate? Yeah, uh, so it's just sort of looking for opportunities. Uh, he's always there lurking around, um, get, getting in good spots for handball receives and, and, and whatnot. And, um, He's obviously got a big leg and um, I sort of have the same sort of skill set as him. Got a pretty uh, powerful leg, so sort of trying to get in the same spots as him and, and um, just sort of, yeah, working with him and how to get involved more, yeah.
After the match on Friday night, they were talking about how there were teams on the wall and they've been crossed off over the last two years, teams that you hadn't beaten. There was one name left, obviously. Is it now that there's there's no fear or there's nothing, you know that there's nothing holding you back? Yeah, probably. I think having beaten every team in the comp, we know that our best is the best. So, um, yeah, it was the one that we were really looking forward to ticking off was, was Richmond. Obviously, uh, got us a few times uh, over the last couple of years and uh, we thought we were pretty close last time we played them and, and a bit disappointed we didn't uh, make the most of our chances and then uh, to get them on the weekend, it was pretty pretty big for us as a football club, yeah. Have you had a, there's, there's the logos on the bottom and the logos on the top. Have you had the ceremony of moving the logo up? Yeah, we did it after the game, did it straight after, yeah, Fags brought us all in and um, moved it over here. Yeah, so yeah it, was, yeah, it was a pretty special moment, I think, every the boys got around it.